Mike O'Mara, Radio Entertainment. This episode of the Mike O'Mara Show is brought to you by our bonus packages. Please go to MikeO'MaraShow.com and click on the bonus banner. You'll get access to all of our bonus content, and even better, you'll be helping out TMOS. So please, quit sucking, and we thank you. Available on demand every day in iTunes and the Google Play Store and around the world on MikeO'MaraShow.com. What more can we do for you? It's the Mike O'Mara Show. Well, the death grip of winter, ladies and gentlemen. And uh, we, you can, if you're watching us on television right now, uh, you can television. see that uh, on the television. <laughs> sure. If you're watching us on our, on our live Comcast broadcast, uh, you will notice that uh, we, are, we are dressed appropriately for that. Would you like to know the uh, temperature when I walked the hounds this morning? Please. Uh, if you say the temperature, would you like to hear the first thing that pops into my mind? When what? you give me the temperature. Well, it'll be a gut reaction based on our weather versus um, yours. 37 degrees. You know what? I will mm. not say get bent. I will say that's yeah. cold for you. 37 degrees in uh, west south Florida, which means uh, snow in Tallahassee, Florida. Saw that, yeah. yeah. Snow mm. in uh, Katy Powers land, Savannah, Georgia. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. Charleston, South Carolina, one of the biggest snowstorms they've ever gotten. And uh, snow uh, getting ready with, uh, what is the name of it? Bombogenesis. <laughs> uh, is go oh, they love that because it's the Today Show on NBC. And they love silly words because Bombo is in it. I That's was why on they the said phone with the uh, Savannah Department of Roads, and we don't happen to own a salt truck. Uh, we do not have a plow. A what? We do not have a salt truck, and uh, but what we do have is plenty of bourbon in the cabinet, and we'll hunker down and enjoy the storm. No, the thing about this is the uh, the southern regions like Tallahassee, Florida. Uh, and Savannah, Georgia, Charleston, South Carolina got some snow, and it's ramping up now to be a huge event for uh, Massachusetts, New England. Uh, my part of Maine is going to get uh, completely whacked, and in the confines of Washington, D.C., <clears throat> another overhyped event because it missed it, it technically it kind of missed DC, correct? Oscar is saying he had what two inches at your house? Well, look, I live in the city proper, right? And then the right. city proper, they said nothing was going to happen until probably eleven thirty last night, right? And then I was like, all right, well, I'll just drive to work like I usually do, and I'll hopefully make it on time. And then when I woke up this morning, I said, well, there's snow on the ground. They didn't call for that. Now right. in Leesburg and where Pony lives in uh, Manassas or Warrington, wherever he's living these days, Fairfax. Fairfax you That's say right. it's Fairfax, it's Manassas. Call Pepper, I think it is. Uh, <laughs> he was supposed to get a, a, a dusting as well. I don't know what happened out there. I just when I woke up, I said, "Well, now I have to lift to work because my tires are meant for performance, not snow." When so, I went to bed, so they you, were you got two one inches to two, and, and I saw and, none of it. None. All right. Of it. Well, hmm. did they conjure though? Did they BS you like they are yes. often want to do? Lots Did of, they um, make the you ribbons. think you are going to get a big, big storm because that's what makes people turn on the television in Washington, D.C.? Yeah, they did, and they talked all about right. it. And it was funny. I actually got to uh, spend some time with my niece, Chelsea, last night, and she's from Iowa, and we were watching the... Chelsea people are wanting to know. Let me... You know, fill in the blanks. Yeah. That's Chelsea, Chelsea Clinton. Yes, that's right. I married into the family. Pandler. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> oh, Oscar might be king of the Chelseas. Yeah. Um, Chelsea Piers. Oh, that's a good one. Ooh, New York City man. landmark. Uh, is it a landmark? Even though, do I, does it count even though it's really not a person? If it's a person, I think you have to go with a person. Yeah, I it think so. It was a good poll, but it has not been accepted. Chelsea Lately. That's a show. That's a show for and the person I named. Yeah. Yeah. Right, uh, Rob, uh, Oscar is king of the Chelsea's. All right. Woo! Congratulations. You won the Chelsea game. Yay! And I met her and her significant other. I, I had met him for the first time. His name is uh, Cotter or Cotton or something. I don't know. But they... now, now, hold on. Hold on. Why now, that's not kind. It? That's not kind. Was he fit and thin and, yes. and, and, and energetic? And so you're jealous of him already? Yes, of even course. Even though he's not even in. Now, His name explain... is Connor. And what's odd is that she's <laughs> okay. dated three consecutive Connors. I don't know. No. Yes. No. Yes. Oh. She's dated three guys, all with the name Connor. Exactly. Really? 
But he's great. I loved him. How old, how old is the young lady? Uh, she is turning 22 today, and I believe Connor is 25. White guy or black guy? White guy. Somebody most resembles is... Um, <laughs> Oscar. Oscar, what? And that has nothing to do with anything. <laughs> Just because <laughs> you're a minority, you can't say things like that on the show. The Sorry, celebrity really. he most resembles is Carl from uh, Shameless. Carl Gallagher, the youngest brother. Oh. Oh, oh really? Is oh, he- red hair. No. Is he a red? Is that the redheaded no, gay the younger kid? Younger. Oh, okay. Was the he, one that was dealing all the drugs. He's got the crop top. Yeah, but the thing is, is that this kid does not deal drugs. This kid is an electrician, and he makes more money than all of us put together. Electrician. Well, why? Why were you doing the name in a in kind of a cruel way? Because it wasn't that obviously cruel. Means- I was just, I, uh, Carrie and I were very, very. I know the dynamic. The I know the dynamic. Is this the? Uh, have you posted a picture with this uh, with this niece before? Oh yeah, she is the one that looks like uh, this Selena is Gomez. The st- this is the stunning oh, oh, niece. Yes, she's quite this lovely. Is, do you get the yeah, dynamic here? Do you understand how, how it works? I know how his brain works. She's a real I know knockout. How his brain works. Yeah. She's, she's, Be proud she's, of that, <laughs> figuring out that difficult equation. <laughs> well, you're easy to read. <laughs> yeah. You're easy to read. And so you poo-pooed the uh, boyfriend because you- I adore you know, the boyfriend. Thought he was great. <laughs> Liked him than any other Connor that she's ever dated. <laughs> ah, you can't get away from it. You can't but get away from it. the point of the story is this. These are two Iowa natives. If this was a homely relative, you wouldn't have anything to do yeah, with it. How do you know he's paid? I have no homely relatives. All Spiewag, Stalkums, and <laughs> just like all, Gorgons. Just like all Omeras going back generations. <laughs> generations. <laughs> all, all of the women in my fa- on my father's side, all beautiful. Knockouts. All stunningly beautiful. <laughs> <laughs> all of his, all of the, his, his mother, his mother's sisters, oh, all, the ones, all no, lovely. I know that the sisters were so lovely they never even married because they That's scared right. men away with and their they, beauty. And they buttered their donuts. <laughs> oh, they really? never worked a day in their lives. Uh, but anyway, that's, how do you uh, know that's that he makes good money? Uh, we discussed it. Oh, yeah, we oh. did. And the fact that he's uh, just turned twenty-five and he sold a house to buy a bigger one. Oh my God. How did you come to uh, visit with these two? Uh, they're in to uh, visit with Chelsea's brother, Cody, who lives in Virginia Beach. That's your half-brother? No, that's my nephew. Oh, that's your half-nephew. Half-nephew, yeah. By, uh, half-nephew. By this is the, these are the children it. of your half-brother. Right. No, okay, the children of my uh, of Carrie's half-sister. Stepsister. Oh, this is on Carrie's side of the family. Yes. Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah. you're a complete interloper then with that. No, know, that no. Thing. I've known her since she was just like, wee and small. I mean, you oh, know. Okay. But they were so thrown by the fact that we were closing things based on cold weather and that two inches of snow was going to shut down a city. Because what, what, they're where from do they Iowa. come from? Where do they? Iowa, oh, they're Iowa. Dodge Iowans. City. Yes. And, and they just, they were saying, this is ridiculous. Is this a real city? I said, yes. <laughs> By all accounts, Washington, D.C. is a real city. Real city. To yeah. our, our good friends at KCJJ who are living this right now, I will tell you that uh, Iowans are in the throes of weather that uh, that is even for their, st- by their standards, is unusually frigid and and nasty and unpleasant. So the Iowans are even having a uh, a weather experience that is quite distasteful. As the entire uh, you know northern part of the the country is just uh, under siege with this stuff. It's, it's, it's so. Terrible. But anyway, it's it is. Really uh, it's still cold and it's going to get colder. But the snow event was a non-event. Where is your niece on your Facebook page? I'm not going to tell you. <laughs> Because God. that would be stupid. <laughs> but uh, you, the, the he posted hazard. a picture she, of her. She's Carrie hidden. and I think Carrie and Rob, or Rob posted a picture of her. She uh, did a short actually, time back. I believe, but but tagged us in it. It was a couple really? Christmases ago. Yeah. Oh, I can't you're go not, back that far. You're not. You're not going to give him the name. You're no. You know why? He doesn't deserve the satisfaction. Come, I just want to eyeball her. I know. Now, you how do. about we don't give last names out, but you yeah. give uh, you First you text name. me the name so I can look so at Mike her. can look at her and then okay. look at me. Well, I've already told you the at first her. name. <laughs> Carrie. No, no. If you're, if you're Columbo, it wouldn't be hard to find it. He's looking up Iowa City. I don't know the first name. You played the game, you dummy. It's minus six as we speak you, right now. It is mean? it is minus six in Iowa. All right, and uh, now it's going to be uh, oh, minus whoa. six. And damn, damn, can Daniel! You, can you send a damn screenshot Daniel. to me of that, Holy please? Holy smokes! Yeah, she's a speedwack. No, she's not. <laughs> no, she's not. There's no blood. In, there's no oh speedwack blood God. or stout cup blood in her whatsoever. No, I married into that. She's a twelve. I told you. Yeah. Yeah. Beautiful. Yeah, she, she yeah. should get into broadcasting. Mm-hmm. That's. Uh, can you send me a screenshot? <laughs> yeah, yeah, I'll send you whatever you. you want, Mike. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> thanks, thanks, Ski Cap, buddy. Let me uh, let me give you let me give you the what I think is the best representation of this young lady. 
this has gotten ugly so fast for something so lovely. It turns so I ugly. understand. I understand. I mean, so, she uh, looks good in everything. Thank you. Mm-hmm. I'll be sure to yeah. tell her that. That won't creep her out. <laughs> All right. Uh, no, it, it is, it's creepy. This, this is so are, much worse than my daughter's your daughter age. A this is my daughter's age. But it's right. not okay. your daughter. It's, oh, God. It's a stranger. Oh. Stranger, <laughs> that is okay. Calm down. Okay. What, what was the point we were trying to make that they hyped the forecast? Yeah, here, and right? the fact that people that deal with real weather think that we are crazy and that we. How was traffic idiots. coming in here today? It was the easiest drive in in ten years. Fun. So everybody's staying home. Everyone's staying home. The only thing that was bad was the road salt. I almost ran out of a uh, fluid to keep my windows clean. Well, later in the show, uh, I will be. Uh, sharing with you a news story that was offered on a network level uh, that will... Prov- you you want to talk about surviving this yes, blizzard? I yes, that Jeff Rawson, the, uh, my favorite correspondent in the entire world, mm. uh, surviving the storm. Hacks for surviving the storm. Life because, hacks. Because a four-inch snowstorm is going to kill you. Yes. And uh, li- yes, Jeff Rawson's life hacks. Absolutely wonderful today. Huh? Oh, we have Hold a call, on. Mike. A call. <laughs> Uh, hello, Mike O'Mary Show. What can we do for Wade Byard, the public information officer for Latin County Public Schools. Latin well, County Public Schools is closed today, Thursday, <laughs> January 4th, and we'll make a Thank decision you. about evening activities at noon. Yeah, noon. Thank you for listening. To so how much snow did you get in Leesburg? In I Loudoun never, County. I never even had to turn on my wipers this morning. So there's no snow? No snow. But they closed school. They schools did. Is and closed. also, if he were to call back, I want you to pay attention to his grammar. Oh, Wade's calling back, Mike. Uh, hello, Mike O'Mara Show. You're on the air. Good morning. This is Wade Byard, the public information <laughs> officer for Latin County morning, Public Wade. Schools. Listen, Latin hello? County Public Schools is closed today. There's are closed. Latin Public Schools is closed because there's snow. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe if they went an extra day or two, you wouldn't have those grammatical abominations. Hi, this you is know? Wade Byard. Uh, we test well. But we don't speak well. <laughs> is you planning on going to school today? I are. I'm. This is Wade Byard. How you doing? I I, I speak slowly. Let's get the phone. Hello, Good Michael Mary Show. Wade Byard, yeah. the public information officer Hi, Wade. for Latin County Public Schools. Latin are they, County are they Public closed? Schools is closed today. <laughs> oh my God! <laughs> Coming oh from Oh my God! Level. Loud County, <laughs> Loud County is oh, yeah. closed. Mike, I sent you a picture. Let's take a look. Oh, my God. God forbid something happens to Shannon. I will stalk this right. chick down. Oh, I do not want you in my family. Oh, that'd be great. <laughs> uh, this lovely young lady has uh, not one bit of Spiewak blood. No, that not at all. <laughs> <laughs> Is she model? Is she a model? I don't think she's ever done any modeling, no. Right. She's, so just a very hot, for- she, she's just hot yeah. on the weekends, Mike. Mm-hmm. That's just a, but that's a uh, fortunate young man. That's a, it is. Uh, you Here know, you go, Pony. Uh, I know you're wondering. Oh my right. God! <laughs> what in the world? Right? How what is, is going on? How is this related to that? Even right. not well, by blood. by marriage. Yes. By marriage, mm-hmm. man. Yeah. Yeah. Wow. She's really not related. Even if it's not, it's not even. It's not like it's Carrie's niece. Yeah. This is the no, prettiest. Right? Per- it would be illegal. This is the prettiest. Per- well, no, it is Carrie. No, Matt, Pony. <laughs> that's disgust. <laughs> now you know what. That's what? where you go into you the, the dark say? side. Nothing. He said it wouldn't be illegal. I'm just saying it wouldn't. That's be. disgusting. How dare you? That is disgusting. That's where your hentai comes in. You leave it yeah. in your hentai world. Yeah, that's, that's right. right. <laughs> Absolutely. You got three married men. Yeah. Three responsible married Outside men. Outside of here. our wives. Oh, three happily married men. Outside yeah, of our besides, wives. Besides, I am the father of a 22-year-old, so this is completely inappropriate Outside for me. Right. Our wives and, and, and Mike's daughters, this is the hottest woman any of us have any connection to. No, no, then Mike's this, cousins with Ann Dowd. <laughs> Start. <My show>. Start. <laughs> Start. It's the Mike O'Mara what? Show. You can listen to the Mike O'Mara Show at www.mikeomarashow.com. Stay tuned for that. Standing entertainment program. It's the <laughs> Mike O'Mara Show. Let's get down to business. From the entertainment capital of the world. Want to take it for a spin, Hobson? No, thank you, Hobson. Well, Mr. Bach, be sure you call me anytime you need the track, huh? Okay. Take it easy. Thank you. Hobson, you know how miserable I am? You're miserable. I've got all this and I'm on a salary. Ah, do you know the worst part? The worst part of being me? I should imagine your breath. 
That may be unhappy, will you? You know, Hobson, I... I... I could love somebody. I never got to love anybody. What do I have to live for? I mean, I'm a failure at everything I do. I'm just in everyone's way. Would you remove your helmet, please? Why? Please. Thank you. Now your goggles. Why? Please. Hit him. Thank you. Hit him. You spoiled little bastard. You're a man who has everything, haven't you? But that's not enough. You feel unloved, Arthur. Welcome to the world. Everyone is unloved. Now stop feeling sorry for yourself, and incidentally, I love you. Poor drunks do not find love, Arthur. Poor drunks have very few teeth. They urinate outdoors. They freeze to death in summer. I can't bear to think of you that way. I need Linda, Hobson. I see. Well, perhaps fate will lend a hand, Arthur. One never knows. Beep, 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 yeah. This is Wade Byard, the public like information the officer for Loudoun County Public Schools. The Mike O'Meara Show has decided to start now. Please make all necessary arrangements to listen. This is the Mike O'Meara Show with Mike O'Meara, Rob Spiewak, and Oscar Santana. And now, without further delay, here's Mike O'Meara. Live from the Fiber Studios in our nation's capital, this is the Mike O'Meara Show, the Mike O'Meara Show, a worldwide podcast and radio show with loyal listeners who get it. And if you're here, you are in the now. We are on air on demand, heard 24-7 on the TMOS app. Update it, get our show all, all day, every day. You can reach us at 888-920-MORE. That's 888-920-6673, the Mike O'Meara Show, on now. And brought to you by Cornerstone First Financial. We love Cornerstone First Financial. You will, too. They are just the people to get you through the intricate process of refinancing your home or getting any kind of loan or dealing with any financial situation you want to deal with. Cornerstone First Financial will be able to get you through the process quickly and easily. Higher interest rates are coming. you got to be ready for that. you got to get somebody who knows what they're doing. They know what they're doing at Cornerstone First Financial. They can lock in your rate, but you got to act now. Right now, days matter with something like this. Whether buying or refinancing, Cornerstone First Financial will understand that it's your money on the line, and they will take care of you. They are good guys. Oscar has personal experience yes. dealing with My them. My brother-in-law as well. Oh, that's awesome. Yes. They really and, and listen, the Santanas don't go lightly into these no. transactions. We question they everything. Care. That's it. Uh, quick, uh, click their banner on our website. <laughs> on the beat every bank's price, I'll tell you that cool. much. Uh, call Cornerstone First Financial, 202-625-1221. Mention TMOS and receive a free appraisal at closing. That's cornerstonefirst.com slash TMOS or call 202-625-1221. They're licensed in Maryland, D.C., Virginia, and Florida. And Happy New Year from everybody at Cornerstone First Financial. Now, with that said, ladies and gentlemen. Give uh, me your goggles. We have a major, major announcement to make regarding the show, Whoa, Whoa, and uh, I could sit here and uh, probably tell you myself, but I think it's uh, probably best to cue the announcer! After five months of helmet-to-helmet gridiron action, it's time for the big game. Football combat will determine the teams on the field, but you will decide where to watch the action. And the best place to experience all of it is the frozen tundra of Old Town Herndon, Virginia at Jimmy's Old Town Tavern. On Sunday, February 4th, 2018, come watch the big game with O'Mara, Santana, Spiwa, and the entire TMOS gang. Big screen televisions, the best wings, the coldest beer, and the constant patter of your host, James Bullwinkle Cerrito. Kickoff is at 6.30, but the fun begins when you arrive. Reservations are recommended. Call 703-435-JIMS. That's 703-435-5467. Jimmy's Old Town Tavern is located at 695 Spring Street and has plenty of free parking. The big game at Jimmy's. The palms of your hands will thicken. The skin of your cheek will tan. Do not fear the wings or the beer. Go face them and be savage again. Yes, John Facenda. Thank you. Thank you very much. It's really 
not not uh, John the center. We're going to Jimmy's. We're going to be there yeah. for the Super Bowl. Jimmy's. Uh, I was sitting there, you know, and uh, you know, with the weather probably being about eighty degrees down here in Florida, I said, "Who wants that?" Yeah, it must grow tiresome. <laughs> oh, it gets so boring. Get me on a plane and get me back up to uh, D.C. in uh, the first week of February. Legendary Super Bowl do. parties in the past. Oh, the greatest. Yes, food yeah, has been was... thrown. Alcohol has been consumed. Yes, and, relationships uh, I... ruined. Relationships I... started. Ah. ah. I believe that uh, that was our very first live appearance for yeah. the Michael Mara Show podcast. In a blizzard. Was uh, in a blizzard, so I'm yep. just uh, knocking on wood that we don't have one, but you never know with February. 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 And, uh, and Jimmy has informed me that the new toilets will be open. The new yes. bathrooms will, they be uh, will be finished. Or just for tours? I think they will be open. He said one week that they will be open in a week. What about the wing? Uh, the wing, I don't know. I have no idea. We're kind of going up for a Super Bowl party and a unofficial grand opening of the new A soft wing. opening. Nice. Well, I thought you, you're you talking to him. You're the one that yeah, kind of... He doesn't tell me. He tells me about his coloring books. You know what he <laughs> called me today? This way, go, am I in trouble? Please call me. He left me a message. I called Why him. Why would he what? be in trouble? Well, he didn't know that he had jumped the gun putting us in uh, their flyer. But, uh, you know, we had our meeting about it yesterday yeah, yeah, when we yeah. confirmed we it yesterday. We with flyers. Yes. Yeah. Well, you know, God love him. That's yeah. the way he does it. We'll, yeah. be on, uh, we'll be in every stall at Jimmy's, uh, and it'll be very, very exciting. And we will be there. It's a great tradition for the show. Wonderful. And I promised my man, Jimmy, that I'd come up there, and uh, the guys would be there and the whole gang. And uh, it's a good chance for us to yeah. see Zoo and Girl, hopefully, oh, and all yeah. our old interns. Yes. Entire crew. Get Todd Moore up there. I want to see Todd Moore there. Tomo, I'll Rob drive. Ford. I'll pay for the car, the Uber, or whatever. You know what? What did Rob you say, Ford. Rob? Ford. Rob Ford. Woo. I want to see Rob Garcia. Ford. I want to see everybody. Pony, are you coming? Oh, of course. Yeah. Okay. Pony just checking. Comes. He yeah. just sits right. in the corner. I'm sorry. I just wanted to make Drink. sure. Drink. He I loves want. football. Oh, Pony does. I tell you, oh, it's, it's my just, favorite. This Bombo Genesis has got Touchdown. me uh, so okay. It, it, yeah, uh, now come on. It's going to be fun. It, it's going to be fun. The food is good. They have gin. Uh, hey, I love it. I love going to the Super Bowl okay, what Okay, what, what about you and your time on eHarmony? Yeah. This be the perfect time to show everybody what a swinging dick you are. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I'll do that. I'll do that. You are not going to do that. Well, no. I mean, it. I'm not be gonna a great, drag somebody into that experience. Great first date. Why? Why, hold on. <laughs> Why would you be dragging somebody into that experience? I'm just kidding. I'm kidding. You see, it's a great not, experience. Though. Do you know what a lousy first date is? Going to a movie oh, because yeah, you don't have a chance to talk. You know what a lousy like, first date is? Going to your apartment and realizing you might be dating a serial killer. That's also not good. <laughs> a lousy first date involves vermin that fly. And statues. When I told Not Shannon fly. that you have a shelf like the 40-year-old virgin with porcelain dolls from Japan on them that, mm-hmm. that are filled from the floor to the ceiling, yes. you, I, she literally said, no, he doesn't. I said, look at this picture. Yeah. This is why every time we talk to him on Skype, we only see one side of the wall because yeah. the other wall is shameful. <laughs> shameful. <laughs> <laughs> so what? Let me, let me say, if you were to say get a date through eHarmony, mm-hmm. which you've got an account with now. Yes. yes. And you were to bring this uh, person to the event. Not only would it be fun, which is, I mean, the place is, look, uh, the reason we do it, I love Jimmy. He's a dear friend of mine, but make no mistake about it. After I sold my joint, that was the only joint I ever wanted to go to. If I'm going to oh, a yeah. bar, I like to go to Jimmy's because it is so casual. It is so fun. Even Everybody, when you it, owned it is, a bar, you love Jimmy's. Yeah, I like Jimmy's more than my own bar. That's, yeah. that, that is a statement of fact and the way he did things. It is so fun to go there for an event and, you know, obviously astronomical odds. Not astronomical on any given Sunday. But the fact is, as Jimmy and I were talking today, if by some little miracle, mm. the Buffalo Bills oh my could God. play their way into the Super Bowl, it would be a true... Massive. They'd have, to, they'd have to get through the juggernaut that is the uh, New England Patriots. But, but we, will, we will see with that. But if you were to walk in, and there we are, microphones in hand, welcoming everybody, uh, banner up on the wall, yeah. and, uh, and we say, Pony Boy! And uh, you're there with oh, your yeah. date, it would be fantastic. Or it would. What if, uh, what, if, what if the model daughter comes by again? Mm, yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. The Moody's mean, uh, are still in play. Ren I Moody. Think, I, I think Ren. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Uh, that name. ship. I believe that ship has uh, <laughs> not only sailed. I believe that ship has probably been around the world a few times. Uh, oh my and, and God. There, you know, I just don't think. Yeah, that, the shot uh, that you was... had was much like Haley's comet. It's gone. 
<laughs> yeah, it's gone. Hey, but never but, say never. The Bills could make the bowl. And is it yeah, okay to Moody discuss the Moody's uh, for Christmas? Oscar, you are our business guy. Is yes. it okay to discuss in, uh, whether Ponies had any uh, contacts on our, our newest sponsor's uh, website? Yeah, so uh, uh, what, what I know about... And by the way, I'm hearing an echo. Is it me yeah. or is it somewhere else? Just to, to sort it's so we know on your room. mic. On it, might my be mic. Because, it might be because of uh, my... Your headphones? Oh, because my, of the... My hat. ski cap. Oh, okay. Just confirm. Are you hearing okay. that? Are you hearing that? No, it's because when right. I talk... Ah, that's, ah, I do hear it through your ski cap. Can you put Apologize. your cap above your ears? Yes. Yeah, I'll do that. Thank, Thank you. you. Sorry. Uh, sorry about Sorry. That. That's fine. <laughs> okay, so eHarmony is one of our sponsors, right? Great, great And box. Pony has been bone dry Pony. for, uh, I would say, roughly three years now. Yeah. Now, um... When they came on, we figured who? Hey, hey. <laughs> lots of company. <laughs> you really do look yes. like when they would Piet bring like me and his man. Yeah. when well, they would bring a Russian prisoner into Hogan's Heroes. <laughs> 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 it's a video day. in Kazakhstan. Got we go there. on dates. <laughs> um, I would say that Pony has had some serious headway with ladies through eHarmony, right? Yes. Because their algorithm allows you to find real people instead of just swiping, swiping left and right for sex. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Now, um, what I would say with Pony is that where he may be on the precipice and on the brink of is actually pulling the trigger on Let me tell you where the problem ladies. is. The problem is Oscar's sent to me, Oscar. Uh, uh, Rob, that Oscar's coming down to me a little hot. That's, okay, I can uh, that's fix that. that yeah, that's a piece of okay. I'm too Thank hot. Too or he hot. might be, He might. do you sound, do you feel like you're too hot up there? No, no, too? no, no, not at okay. all. Okay, all right, hey, bring, bring, I'm uh, give me a- I'm actually forcing my voice. No, no. Because Rob still, hates still, me. St still out. <laughs> One, two, three, four, five. Go six, all the way seven, down with it. All the way down. There, now bring yeah, them up. Yeah, now bring me up. up. Bring One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. That's great. That right thank there, you. right there. Got right it. there, right there. All right, thank you. Now, Pony, when you. do you think you'll be able to say, hey, let's grab some coffee or score some heroin? Whatever you're going to do <laughs> with your dealing. dates, when do you think that's going to happen? I, I think I can definitely do that by Super Bowl. Yes. Yeah. See, that's Touchdown. wonderful. Yeah. Yeah. That's uh, that's yes. very very. Now, exciting. do you have any prospects? Like, what are you finding within your own uh, adventures on on eHarmony? Well, I, I I think with eHarmony, it's a lot less volume than quality. Yeah, uh, it, it's no, uh, no, it's more quality than volume. Yeah, yeah, that's that's what you want. he said the right thing. Yes. He just yeah. said it in a so stupid yes. way. Yes, yes, yes. I hate you. Yes, it's fine. <laughs> I hate you so much. So, but the quality you're finding, I said you were right. Are though. the ladies? It, do you? I mean, you're honest within the questionnaire. I think it's like 175 questions, right? No, no, it, it's nowhere near that much. How, how many questions is it? I, I think it only took me maybe 15 minutes to do the setup. Okay, but well it's then that's. Thorough. Thorough. Did, uh, Much fast? Did one of those? <laughs> did one of those uh, sentences say, "I am a human cry for help"? <laughs> no. <laughs> uh, I weep so. gently into my marsupial's chest. Definitely not. Okay. Uh, no right. talk of sex robots. No. no so none. No good. And uh, have you? You've had contact? Yeah. Yeah. And and the nice thing is the people that you're talking to, you just automatically kind of have chemistry with them because that's the way their system's set up. So. You, you don't have that really awkward, you know, time where you're trying to figure each other out. Like and... this segment? Yeah, exactly. Sure. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Is there an e-harmony for coworkers? Because we would need that with you. <laughs> <laughs> like a uh, hundred uh, question algorithm yeah. to make uh, someone in like, the studio that we enjoy talking how to? How do we communicate with him? I think it's important to point, out, uh, point this out, that we... You know, we got this sponsorship, mm. and not related to Pony or anything like it. it wasn't it wasn't prearranged no. that we would have Pony participate? Pony happens to be the single member of our mm. uh, little, uh, you know, for now, here. Mark. Anything's uh, the, for, possible. <laughs> <laughs> How things going, Oscar? Things are great. Everything going okay. okay. I just <laughs> know that you can get a post nuptial agreement as well. <laughs> okay. Very All good. I know is it took you like twenty minutes to get my phone back from him today. We got plenty of show, yeah. and uh, well, you know what? Uh, that's we'll, nice. uh, we'll we'll uh, we'll dive in. Yes. Uh, Pony, yes. have you? Uh, are you on this on this site? Because we have not. This I mean this from the bottom of my heart. This is separate from the commercial. We I I don't care about the sponsor. We are separating this. This is all about you right now. Nothing was arranged that you would be using eHarmony or that you would have to use eHarmony. I asked you at the time. I said, "Hey, is Pony on that? Because it might be interesting for you." Then you kind of reacted positively. And my question to you is: I want something that's very difficult for you to do with me. I want you to be honest here. 
Okay, I don't want you to be like Steve Bannon when he was in the Trump White House yeah. before he got fired. <laughs> or you know, was he honest? To, yeah. I want you to tell. Oh, despite you to tell the, the chilling truth. physical similarities mm. between Pony and Bannon, we yes. don't want you to act like. Now, him. don't be treasonous. Uh, by the way, brand new political. <laughs> don't pers- be treasonous. <laughs> brand new political persuasions next week. Uh, we will be. Uh, Chris Freitz is out of town this back week. Back in business. We will be back in business uh, with an analysis of the Steve Bannon book. Uh, well, the book by I believe uh, Mr. Wolf, who wrote the book. And uh, Steve Warner Bannon's Wolf. all over it. Uh, Warner Wolf. Oh, and, uh, no, the guy from Pulp Fiction. Here's my question. Mr. You Wolf? <laughs> Are you into this uh, website? Has it been something that you... Because you said something positive there because the way it's set up, you immediately feel a little chemistry. So I ask you, uh, have you... Are you still paralyzed with fear to actually take the plunge and say, <laughs> could we meet for a donut or something like that? I don't think so. I, I mean, I'm, I, I would like to, like, like you guys said, I think... The Super Bowl party would be a really great place to meet. Coming out party. Yeah, on track. Coming out. And, you know, we have to remember something that is hard to wrap our head around, which is the fact that in the past, Pony has been in relationships. Yeah, long term relationships. Because I think when I, what. Abusive, though. Yes, yes, but as we've known him, we've always known him. Pony was not the abuser, he was the abused. He was the 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 abused. And emotionally abused. How hard Mm -hmm. is it in this day and age to find a woman? That buys her panties out of a vending machine. You know, that's what he's into. <laughs> that's a tough nut to crack. I just wish the best for our boy. Yes, I really do. And do. Uh, you know, and then by the way, I it's not this is your life. This is your real life here. And you know what? There's no deadline for you to bring somebody to the Super Bowl party. It's not like we're gonna say you have one month to get a date. Yeah. But if you would I just think that if you happen to be on, say, a second date or we'll talk, a third we'll talk date. You up. Yeah. And you rolled into Jimmy's, I think it would be a good thing for you. An Aphrodite. Yeah. Yeah. We're, like, we're not going to say that it absolutely must be done by 6.30 p.m. Eastern Time, February 4th. My by the way, <laughs> my flight out of Washington, D.C. is 8.20 on Monday morning. Yes. I, have done that. I have done that specifically to force myself to manage my alcohol. Misflight. There will be no there Misflight. will be no waking up at ten. What do you mean I can't get Jimmy. on a later flight? My motorcycle's <laughs> still at Jimmy's. That's right, no. they're gonna t- it's at the firehouse. Hi no. Mo hey, I look, have to be honest where's Jimmy? No, no, Mrs. O'Mara will be wrangling me on uh, on this weekend. I'm bringing her I thought it was straight. all guys yeah. all the time. Sorry, no, I'm a, all I, bros, I, no hoes. I know you hate this. <laughs> I know you hate this, but when I saw her face and I don't. And, and this is this is me also. Uh, you remember when I went to the Masters with uh, with Carla and yes. we got the little guy back with the babysitter. It. it was a golf and tournament. She did not try to ruin. stop it. There was a sandwich. <laughs> Cheap I'm food. Red here. Uh, the thing is, I, <laughs> I I remember leaving. I didn't want to leave him. Yeah. Mm. I wanted him to come. I like him. I like being around him. I like having him with me all the time. So that's kind of the, the I think the I'm going to isolate that remark and make it pretend that you're talking about me. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, by the way, the slot cars were opened yesterday. Oh, and, we got uh, a great call. We were playing with the slot cars. My two godfathers gave me two of the greatest gifts for my son Aww. and uh, and just uh, amazing. And uh, and you know what? I meant to say thank you to a listener also that sent me a gift card for Iguanaria, That's which was pretty sweet. terrific. You know what was really amazing is when I get on caller ID, you're getting a call from Mike O'Mara, and my initial thought is I've screwed something up. Mm-hmm. So right. I say hello, <laughs> and I hear little Michael's voice say, I love the slot cars. <laughs> thank you. <laughs> Thank you I for love the slot cars. Slot cars. Sweet, it yeah. was great. And That's you know, he's a, it's for eight year olds, which is great. That's the kind of gift you want to give somebody my kid's age because it's so much fun for dad. And the fact <laughs> is, though, you know, you, you would think that because he's four, he wouldn't know to plug the thing into the wall sure. when I disconnected. And uh, all of a sudden, I hear zzz, zzz, ah! zzz, and there he is. And he's like slid over to the other side. He said, That's got electricity. You have to be near daddy when you're playing with that. <laughs> don't, don't lick the track, son. Yeah, Wait, so is the entire Omera clan coming up? Uh, yeah, yeah, the, the nice. entire nice, nice. Yeah, yeah, you don't don't worry, you don't have to pay for it. I'll pay for the. Well, uh, it's not about the, the paying wife and for kid. it, Mike. But sometimes it's good for the man to get away from the woman. But it's well, also I mean, good be... to spend time with your son, especially when he's still small enough to count as a carry on. Carla will come <laughs> for a little while, and then I will have some man time. That what was that? What did you say? I'm I said that you said. want to bring the child along when he's small enough to be a carry on. <laughs> <laughs> I wish. I wish. Oh, he's got to have wish. his own seat. 
Yeah, hello, JetBlue. Yeah, of course, he's, he's four years old. You know that. He's, yeah, he's had his own seat for you two years. You go southwest, throw him in a backpack for kids, and then you roll on in. <laughs> exactly. He's four, is it, like he's Yoda. Six feet, he's six feet tall <laughs> yeah, like already. like Yoda. <laughs> like you're running around. Mm. Mm. <laughs> Travel, we will. Mm. Share seat, to, we will. To Reagan National, it says. <laughs> mm. Yes, yes, snowstorm. <laughs> Flight cancellation, we will experience. Mm. <laughs> Mm, there we are. You, you know, to I, we took Santos down to Orlando, and no one said a thing. You took him in a dog carrier? No, we took him. I took what? him like as a baby, and I put him under the seat. He just went to bed, and that was it. You just carried the dog on the yes. place without any carrier. No, or anything no like one that? said dick to us. Wow, really? And then they went yes. to the back of the plane and made some shine. Because they're on Hillbilly Airlines. Southwest. Oh, Southwest. Nobody cares on Southwest. Do you want yes. the peanuts? Does the Festivals. dog want the peanuts? Festival CD. <laughs> yeah. Does he have a peanut allergy? Mm. And isn't he huge now? Santos is big I now. mean, he is big. and he Dog do it is. Yeah. Smells it does. Yes. Uh, anyway, Stepping it not. And, and he, when, he, when he stretched out, he stretched out on my feet and Shannon's feet. Like, he, he's a pretty big dog. He'll be rolling with us. We have to take a break here, ladies and gentlemen. When we come back, I want to talk uh, movies with Oscar Santana. He recommended a movie, and I will give him full credit when he recommends something that I enjoy. I will also talk to him when it's something I did not enjoy. Uh, the movie, if you uh, if you might know what this movie is, it's called Not Bright. <laughs> not Bright. That's the uh, name of the uh, movie on Netflix. We'll talk all about it when we come back on the Michael Sheeran. Hi there. Jack Tush back with intelligence from your wife. Did you know that sugar gliders can help increase virility for cigarette smoking anime fans? And women find them hot. It's true. And if you need to get away from it all, four out of five doctors recommend a good $5 margarita. Here's another fact you should know about. Is that a we motto lowering his laughter. voice? You can get it with a TMOS bonus package. It's an extra hour of laughs that support the other five shows throughout the week. And at less than five cents a program, it's a great bargain. Plus, you get the entire bonus show library when you subscribe. To get in on the fun, click on the bonus show banner now at MikeOmeraShow.com. And that's intelligence from your wife. That is my. F I couldn't get by anything other than Jim Amato lowering his voice during that. <laughs> it's a magical thing when he sends an email. It truly is. Uh, welcome back to the Mike O'Mara Show, brought to you by Harry's. Uh, did you know that uh, using Harry's actually makes a great New Year's resolution? Because using Harry's can save you about one hundred dollars a year. Wow! If you're a frequent shaver, that's smart. That's why I love Harry's. And Harry's is so sure of their blades, they're going to give you their trial shave set for free. When you sign up at harrys.com slash TMOS, just pay for shipping. We've talked about Harry's and how wonderful it is. We want you to experience it, too. Harry's is all about a great shave at a fair price, which is why over 3 million guys have switched to Harry's. Jeff and Andy were ordinary guys who were fed up with getting ripped off, so they started Harry's because they wanted to fix shaving. So they bought their own German factory with over 100 years of blade-making experience, and they backed all their products with a 100% guarantee at half of drugstore prices. Plus, the shave will be the best you've ever had. Claim your free trial offer from Harry's today. That is a $13 value for free when you sign up. Just cover shipping. Your free trial set includes a weighted ergonomic razor handle, a five precision engineered blade card, cartridge with a lubricating strip and a trimmer blade, rich lathering shave gel, and a travel blade cover. To get your free trial set, go to harrys.com slash TMOS. That's harrys.com slash TMOS. And we thank you. Okay. Hold on. We got a call coming in. Let's uh, do that. Hello, Mike O'Mara's show. You're on the air, sir. Good morning. This is Wade Byard, the public information officer for Latin oh. County Public Schools. Is the schools Latin closed? County public Schools is closed today. There's <laughs> what a moron. <laughs> <laughs> now he's been nice to you though because he's he has you he tapes. has but you know what he had the time to do a second take no one is that busy <laughs> fix it wade fix you don't it. like you don't like the grammatical error especially I when mean, he's coming from an educational system. Yeah. it's a schools and you know what it's not like the script changes dramatically every year it's the same <laughs> thing they don't even need to redo it why does he have to do it live hey That's michael true. come on in here for a second yeah. will you please yeah. Woo, somebody's off of school this week let's bring in the little guy okay schools Yay. is closed the little guy he's he's not he, he's oh, what do you get oh daddy what is that Harmonica. Oh, Ooh, does he play it? I don't know how to play it. Uh, Try turkey in the straw. Oh, Here you sweet. go. Blow into it. 
Just, just, just make, put your lips together like this and go. Now Mike's doing oh, this it. This isn't a very good is harmonic. It, is, it is it not a honer? It's hard. It's hard too, buddy. It's hard. You want to say hi to the guys? Hi, hey, Michael. Woo! Say happy New Year. Happy New Year. Oh, thanks, little Michael. You got any questions for my son? Yes, I little Michael. What? Is is Rob with two B's the worst godfather you have? No. Oh, <laughs> that's See, sweet. That's sweet. Yeah, that's I have a sweet. question. Do you hate subpar musical instruments? Okay. No. Oh. <laughs> would you like a would you like a real harmonica? Uh-huh. Oh. You know, uh, Julia thank plays you. harmonica very well. Oscar and Rob. Oh, you're oh, welcome. Oh, thank you're welcome, you. Young man. For my presents. For my presents. Are you ready for your little podcast to start next year? <laughs> yeah. yeah. No. No. <laughs> no. 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 You, you can have your own show. That's right. What was the What was the best part about Christmas? What did you like about Christmas? Uh, my big Playmobil set. Ah. Oh yeah, nice. Playmobil. Woo! Playmobil was super fun, wasn't it? What are you doing today? You doing anything fun with mommy today? Uh. Uh. Uh-uh. Nothing today. Okay. I what love was you. the worst thing about Christmas? Yeah. What was the worst thing about Christmas? Nothing. Hey. Oh, yeah. Hey. Great attitude. I Woo. was really thinking I was going to hear standing room. Man. <laughs> <laughs> standing Thank you. Close the door nice and solid. Close the door. Thank Hard you. Hard as you can. Hard as you can. Here we go. Hard. <laughs> there it is. Hard. Boom. Isn't that so is. sweet? Boom. Yes, he's very sweet. Like he's a he's happy a, kid. It is so he's great very to hear there's kid. not wow. anything bad about Christmas. Because if you ask that of Julia, you'd get a laundry list. <laughs> you know, I was dreading the Christmas hangover with a little kid. Because uh, you think they open the presents and then it's kind of meltdown time. We're a year or two before that. So you don't. You, we didn't get that experience, mm. which is fine with me. The presents were open. It didn't matter what they were. It was very, very cool. Yeah. And uh, and he was a, he's a good kid. He's a, he's a good kid. And, uh, you know, he knows the rules. That's right. That's what it. what yeah, picture did go. Kathy and Paul give him of something that didn't arrive? Yeah, Kathy and Paul. <laughs> Kathy and Paul brought him a Lego police car that I put together Ooh. the day after Christmas when Daddy had ruined the roast and uh, consumed way more Chardonnay uh, Cabernet than he uh, he should have <laughs> after Irish whiskey. And Carla informed me like uh, two nights ago that I went Irish whiskey. Cabernet, everybody left. I went back to Irish whiskey. Wow. wow. You know what would have been easier? To just put a bullet through your head. <laughs> yeah. uh, it was horrible. It's when I, uh, you know, it's basically when you wake up in the morning with your eyes closed and you're seeing those crop circles. Yeah, yeah. You know, and you're just kind of going, ah. Uh, uh, so and for anybody bad. that's not an alcoholic, you might not know what I'm talking about. There's circles you see when you close your eyes. I've yes. seen them. That's exactly mm. I've yes. seen them. They're, that's when that, where the FBI says they have a special unit in the Pentagon that look for UFOs. <laughs> it is really <laughs> how, what Apple based their uh, screensaver on. Yes. I see it on when I leave the computer and goes to sleep. It's like, have I been drinking? Oh, no. It's just saving my computer screen. Uh, I want to talk about Netflix for a second because a lot of people are cutting the cord and a lot of people are watching uh, Netflix for their content. Uh, a couple of people recommended an older show with Kevin Bacon called The Following which I started watch. I watched one episode. It was good, but it was a little too obvious, and so I'm not sure I'm going to stick with that one. Then last night, I decided, Carla went to sleep, but I decided to log some time with the brand new Will Smith movie, Bright. Netflix uh, the, original. The Made Netflix, for Netflix original yeah. Film uh, that it was uh, Oscar explained that it was the best Will Smith film since, since Hancock. I am, uh, oh, since I am Hancock. Legend. I am Legend. Or Hancock. And uh, it, here's the problem. I. I, st- I stuck with it, but it just was, it was just too much. It was too much Explain. of the, and the, the, it's it's a sci-fi cop thing. That's where it's I got, lost Mike, right there. It, it's got aliens, and Magic. it's got cops, and it's got the, the guys in the hood, Fairies, and it's got rice, elves, and it had, it, it's just, it's like one giant acid trip of a movie. And here's the drill Essays. with Will Smith. This is the drill with it. You take these absolutely overdone plot lines of aliens and elves and these aliens called orcs. And uh, I remember you know, the, orcs from my Dungeons and Dragon days. It was uh, it was an orc, and and then all Will Smith does is. Uh, the the formula is crazy aliens, confusing plots, and then Will Smith making his childlike statements. Okay. Okay. So, for example, you'll have a magic wand, and you'll have aliens flying around, and you'll have superpowers, and then Will Smith will look uh, at his partner and say, I don't know about this S, but that's the same S we do every effing day. Oh, yes. Will will keep it simple with elves and flying. It He's was keeping it real crap. for the orcs. 
Yes, it was, it was. Yeah, but he's living uh, in a different world than we are because it's the future. Yeah. You know, I will tell you, Oscar, when the Hispanic gang came into the club yes. like the seventh time yeah. and fired the their club. guns, their, their guns into yeah. the air, yeah. I was like, okay, it's just, it's pandemonium. Okay, so it's not I, I your cup of tea, it. but I have to ask this for a guy like Will Smith, a box yes. office you know, a, 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 titan, a juggernaut, star, yeah. a titan for him yeah. to do a movie for Netflix. Does it look like a big budget movie? Yes, it was a thousand it was over, percent over a hundred million dollars. Okay. I'm just, I mean, yeah. this, what does it? So it looks like it could a be so, turbo. A tra- and by the way, some of the special effects, there's a scene early in the movie where he deals with a, a fairy. Uh, mm-hmm. Which is uh, a literal flying fairy, like a a Tinkerbell. Sure. Like, uh, and and he he's uh, swinging at it with a broomstick. <laughs> that was. I thought the CGI was pretty cool to see that. I I was all in at that point. And then there's some pretty good dialogue, and the undertone is kind of a racial theme of non discrimination, which yes, is right. okay. And then it just ev- it evaporates into this frenzy Explosion. of violence mm. that is just Matrix ridiculous like it's it's fighting. In, it's insane See, what the troubles fun. me from this so i got halfway you. through and then i bailed i bailed on it completely is you've got a big budget adventure film that will <clears throat> pardon me never oh, make excuse oh. me that'll come from your big lungs budget phlegm that will never hit the big screen <laughs> i mean this sounds like a movie that was designed to be seen in a theater okay we a have theater. we have to clarify here from for years now we've been discussing how netflix is fighting what is the status quo of Hollywood content, right? Okay. Um, now, most of these movies, and this started happening as of two years ago, mm. where when a movie comes up for uh, essentially a bidding war or a development deal, the beauty of Netflix is they have an unlimited budget. Mm-hmm. And how is Fox Searchlight or Disney or I would say uh, Paramount or any of these big RKO, companies. RKO, Columbia. Uh, uh, yes, or Sony, right? Right. How right. are they supposed to compete when when um, when Netflix just backs up the brick trucks and says, we're just going to pay for it. We're yeah. not going to wait for you to get some back-end work, back-end deal on the box office. We're going to pay you outright because we think it's that great, and we're going to spend the money to make it right. And they made it right. And and, and look, now, I they've had no, the movie, as, as a sci-fi movie, yes. let me say this. Uh, I, this the movie... Is a solid sci-fi yes. presentation. Yeah. What you know, I'm talking about the you know what Mike likes and what I'm yeah. into and all that stuff. That's what I. That's what I in enjoy. In the theater, the fact is- it would have <laughs> it would have made a killing. That's what I'm asking. Yes. Yeah, and I'm wondering because you know a lot of people they Netflix on their tablet, they Netflix on their phone. Yes. So it just seems like they might have thought of doing a big release, even just a limited run. Well, that, well, think about this. Who's to say that this doesn't set the precedent to say. We can, and again, this is a this is for value of their customers. That Netflix customers can watch it directly for in their home, but if you don't have Netflix, you have to go to the theater to watch. It. Very valid, yeah, right? Very valid, sure. I just you know, and I, I I don't disagree with any of those points. The fact is, I'm talking about the content itself, and, yes, and it is not a, a fan. it is a it is a Will Smith formula where it's aliens, it's spaceships, and then which Will is Smith the winning saying, formula? Yeah, I, yeah, I don't want to hear a, him talking in an African accent about concussions anymore. Stop. I know. That. Okay, I know that's not your cup of tea. But and I, like I know the, the movie. kind of movies you I like. Lo- mindless I lo- violent Mike, movies. That's it's, what no, like. it's no. Yeah. I look. I love movies that make you think, but okay. I don't think that. I really don't believe that Will Smith is built for that. He's just Did not. Did you think the first half of the movie was better than the second half? I thought the second half of the movie was better than the first half. What well, about see, the I, middle I got, third? I got bogged down. I got bogged down in the middle third. That's mm. when I. That's when I bailed. Act that's two. when I bailed. Wait, wait. You know, did you I, not? Did you see the resurrection? No, I didn't see the. Oh resurrection, well, that changes no. everything. Well, I've still got it. You know, yeah, I pay yeah. for it. It's sitting there. It's sitting there waiting for All me. All you have to do is uh, hit resume. Re- yeah, resume. Hit the resume the, button. The movie I am looking forward to, I am a traditionalist, and I am looking forward to, even though I think it might be, uh, it, it has the potential to be a little racist, uh, I am interested in the Christian Bale Western called Hostels. That is uh, coming out, and they say it's the best Western since Unforgiven. That's it. You know, that's oh the movie God. hype that we're getting yeah. with that. But that looks like uh, you know Christian Bale Isn't out on the open prairie. Uh, he's Perfect hostile to his him. coworkers. Yeah. He truly is. But until but then, Mike, one. you're going to have to watch the Fresh Prince of Outer Space. <laughs> <laughs> Until then, we're going to get we're going to get some sort of device to suck the phlegm out of your throat and uh, make. How how are you physically? How are you doing? I, I I could tell you the truth, or I could tell you what you want to hear. Tell us the truth. Uh, I'm fine. You're not because whatever you have now, I have. Because I woke up this morning and I was like, Speedwack, 
F me, my throat hurts. <laughs> yes, oh, I made love to God. him. I prefer the uh, phrase make love. Well, you know what? I can see why we're all getting sick. It's going to be 58 degrees down here uh, today. I hate you, Mike. Uh, <laughs> okay, thank you. Just briefly, another quick sidebar. Yes. Mm. Yes. Uh, this broke this morning. CBS News political director fired after allegations of inappropriate behavior. These horn dogs Wait, what's are do everywhere. We, uh, do we do we have the name? Do yes. we have the name? Is it a Steve known name? Steve Chagaris. And you know what's Steve weird? Chigaris. This is the first like younger looking guy where I'm like, eh, he didn't have to sexually harass. Maybe the first one of 2018. Though, yeah, right? first yeah. one of 2018. Yeah. He uh, must by be the very way, proud. Uh, on the bonus show this week, a huge discussion of sexual harassment and the implications and the ramifications and how we go forward with this with our young men in our society yes. and young women. Uh, and and we, we, we talk pretty heavy, and then we get completely stupid in the second half of that show. It's not like a Will Smith movie. <laughs> no, no. no. It, get, it starts slow and gets better. Yeah. Uh, we'll take a break, and we will come back with more fun and more thrills on the Mike O'Mara Show. Thank you. This week on the Michael Mara Bonus Show. Hackers can hack into a sex robot or robotic device and have full control of the connections, arms, legs, and other attached tools, which in some cases include knives or welding devices. So imagine your real doll coming at you with an acetylene torch. It could happen. The last time I remember, maybe two years ago, that I saw one of these things, and uh, they just don't seem, they look like a plastic toy. We've discussed in the past, one of the things that freaks me out the most are wax figures. The last thing I need to do is have yeah. one that I'm ready to have sex with come I at understand. me with a knife. I understand. You don't like the wax. You also have to find out if they're load-bearing. <laughs> what kind of load? Yeah. I could be on top. <laughs> load-bearing? <laughs> it popped. <laughs> where so, is, it popped. Where is Julia Roberts' eye? The Michael <laughs> Merrill Show. Because five hours a week, just ain't Thanks, enough. Pony. You made me real look good this week. Show. <laughs> hey, you <laughs> earned it. <laughs> We interrupt Oscar so much. That was a good line. Load bearing, <laughs> load bearing sex robots for Rob Spiewak. Thank you. Uh, welcome back to the Mike O'Mara Show, brought to you by Texture. I love magazine content. I really, really do. Some of the best writing in the United States is in magazines. Some of the best stuff in general. It's a great way to get magazine content. I'm talking about Texture. Uh, really, the next time you want to read a magazine, you walk into a store and you see all the the magazines on the shelf that you'd like to buy. Why don't you get them all with Texture? Yeah. With Texture, not only do you get a peek, you get the whole magazine right on your smart device. Plus. Unlimited access to over 200 additional premium titles. Time, The Atlantic, The New Yorker, and Wired. Update those magazines in this copy. We'd okay. like to put some new ones in there. And right now, you can try Texture for free. Texture is totally searchable, has daily recommendations, and exclusive interactive features, videos, and more. Just imagine having your favorite magazines and their back issues anytime, anywhere. I love this app. You're going to love this app. To start your Texture free trial, go to texture.com slash TMOS. If you choose to continue, our listeners will get Texture for just $9.99 a month. It is worth it. It is money well spent. That's over 30% off their listed price. With Texture on your phone or tablet, you'll never be out in the cold again because all of the hot magazines are right at your fingertips. Go to texture.com slash TMOS to start your free trial today. That's texture.com slash TMOS. And we... Thank you. Yes, sir. I want to thank Jeff Rawson from the Today Show. I really, really do. Here it is. Okay, are you ready? He's this is it. <laughs> Jeff Rawson with survival tips. He had hacks for surviving, not dealing with, because surviving makes it sound like you're going to die. It's the day after tomorrow syndrome. Yeah. That's exactly mm. what he does. And uh, I waited through the entire lame report about the kitty litter in a sock and the towel on what? somebody's windshield. What's a kitty litter in a sock? All right, I'll go through all yeah, of them. Okay, you take, you take the kitty litter. It's got to be a specific kind of kitty litter that's uh, that's got this moisture wicking thing okay. that mm. takes, and you put it inside of your, uh, Tail your pipe? car and it does, and your windows don't fog up. Because it Thanks, absorbs the, oist, the moisture. <laughs> The, the moisture, that's yeah. right. Then you put uh, Pam cooking spray <laughs> on the rubber gasket of your door so your door won't freeze, okay? You and also then you put move Pam over. cooking spray on Mrs. Rawson for a Mrs. hell of a Rawson, night. thank you. <laughs> then you take, you put a towel. If your car is on the street, Oscar, and you're going to get a snowstorm, yeah. you put a towel over your windshield, and then in the morning, as opposed to having to get all the snow off, you pull the towel off. That doesn't, of course, account for the hood of the car where you're going to be blowing 
shoveling snow over the entire road and your windshield. Life you hacks. like on my way up, I saw the first a hood slash windshield slash uh, re- uh, side mirror bra on a car in my life. Yes, a- a- where. The hood is covered oh, by wow. this condom-looking <laughs> right. thing, and right. then it goes up to the windshield, and it mm-hmm. hooks like a bra on the side of the side view mirrors. To, Have you to seen prevent this yet? the car from getting any road rocks? No, no, no. Th- I'm th- probably the only one in the room that I removal, actually. This right? is for snow removal. Oh, it's for snow removal. Yes, oh, really? This is brilliant. A yeah. lot of well, work, see. but brilliant. Well, the the towel on the windshield might appear to be brilliant, but it's not because you still got the snow all over the hood of your car. Very true. So that's a, and the get a towel really super- is ruined. It's ruined for good. Then the other hack, what was the other one? Something like you put uh, you put alcohol and detergent in a bucket of warm water to serve as a homemade de-icer. So I'm Who like, okay, has it's time all for yeah, that. Yeah, just get it's all that Sorry, crap. Sorry, Lawson. It's, I'm it's trying Jeff to pay crap. my bills. Mm-hmm. And then he goes into his house. I think it was his house. It might have been some <laughs> other house, but he's in a house in Long Island. And so I think it's Jeff's house. And he walks Jeff's in and he's got house? Saran wrap or some sort of uh, food wrap on the wind she- on the windows to prevent the cold from coming in, and then here was the last. That's one, a good right? look, by the way. But that, but what does that have to do with a blizzard? Okay, that doesn't. Dick, yeah, you want to you, you want to improve hack. your your cold. The, the last one is he says, and now here's the last one. You see this lovely fireplace over here? You want to get inside that fireplace and close your flu. I was born and raised in New England. I have known that. Since I was seven years yeah. old, you incredible. If you are too stupid to realize that cold air in the dead of winter is going to come down your chimney and get into your house because your flu is clo- is open, then then you're a moron. I okay? got a question you're, you're a for you, Jeff Rosson. <laughs> I'm going to tweet you a question, and this is what right. the question is. If I have a hole open in the winter, <laughs> is right. cold air going to come into my home? Close your flu. What? How do you spell flu? How do you spell flu? F L U E. No, I think it's F L U E for flu. Is it F L U E? I always wanted to know that. So that, that was, was it. Flu-y. That was the. the flu-y. And it was. And by the way, it was surviving. And and this is the just the hype machine that goes into this. Now I don't doubt that if you are not prepared for a storm well, and you're out in the elements, it could get dicey. But if you're in a, a home with electricity, and uh, you know you, you're you're going to be okay. But these la- this is not survival. This is Little tricks to maybe make yeah. your life more convenient. That's I have what a it trick. Is. F-L-U-E. Do you think any of those hacks were used by Matt Lauer when he was still on staff? <laughs> yeah. Especially sure. the Pam? Yes. <laughs> yeah, he had cooking oil. <laughs> what, is, uh, what is your concern? Uh, when you buy a home that was built in the 1800s, don't cut out the radiators and put new European ones in, think, thinking it'll do the same thing the old ones did, because it doesn't. What if you throw is the your, radiators away? Uh, well, even is, worse. Is your, house, is your house cold? Mike. I was wearing a ski cap in my house <laughs> yesterday. Oh, no. And I just stared really? at these wall radiators and I said, well, those are more expensive than the other ones. Mm. And I don't know if they really work half the time. And I think we're going to need more of them. Now, and then it, Shannon it, comes down. She's like, why are you so bummed out? I said, well, <laughs> we're paying for heat that isn't heating. Uh, do you have space heaters? Outer space heaters. Mike, the whole point of spending my life, my my life savings on getting heat in the house was to not have space heaters. So hey, the your, radiators. Your hold on, Rob, 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 hold on, Rob, right slow down a minute. I, I have a question for you. Does yes. the 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 heater that you have that you installed yes. are those brand new and were they supposed to be more efficient than the they ones were you had in there? Supposed to be more efficient. And supposed they're not working at all. Uh, they're working, but it's kind of the type of working where you're like, eh, maybe. Maybe the settings are wrong on the furnace. So you go to the furnace and, and turn up the water on the, uh, the the temperature of the water, so the heat that goes through the house is is hotter, right? Yeah, it's a radiator. Yeah, it's a water based heating. Doesn't system. work any better than it did before. And then I said, well, maybe maybe I'm doing something wrong. So I went and drained all the radiators, and I right. said, okay, here we go. Still nothing working. And Shannon says to me, people will understand that this is an older house, so it'll be colder. I said. No one will ever rent or buy this place in the winter if they walk into this cold. Yeah. All right. Ever. So, are you? Do you have insulation in the walls? There's no insulation. We have no subflooring. This place is a dump. Oh <laughs> my god! You don't but have any also, insulation. It's no. thirty degrees colder than it should be we this have, time of year. So he's really fighting a losing battle. We have battle. brick. 
From Ow. the 1800s. <laughs> with, with nothing in between, like, the plaster and the... Well, yeah, it's the nothing. 1800s. They didn't have insulation. Those lazy bastards. What about your fireplace that had, the, uh, like, the cow stuck in it? You had an animal or something stuck in your fireplace. The fireplace is also an issue because I tried to take it down from the top down, if you remember last oh, year. Oh, you were disassembling? Yes. I, you know, I had forgotten. This is like going yeah. back and watching season two of Mad Men. Exactly. So many things have happened that I've forgotten. Right. The two holes I put in the fireplace, which were exploratory holes... To see how it worked oh, out. You did do that. Yes. Yeah. Uh, now yeah. they just let more air in from the side, not just the top. So it's it's gonna be a, it's gonna be a tough winter for Santana. Well, mm-hmm. get Jeff Rosson over there as soon as you can. I think. That's hey, really, Rosson, uh, really can I put duct tape right. on these holes? Yeah. <laughs> uh, put put the go back and watch the Today Show and put the uh, plastic on your windows. That might really be a good thing for you mm-hmm. with double sided yeah. tape. Hey, Jeff Rosson just helped you. We gave him we all go. that crap, yeah. and now he's helpful. You know, and, and, and I'll Jeff, just, uh, I'll do number one in jars too and save some by money. By the way, <laughs> by the way, Rosson. <laughs> I think Rawson is aware of this show, and uh, so hey, hey, Jeff, we're just you know we're yeah, filling time. Balls, oh, we're filling balls. We're filling time. Bless your heart. Okay? Yeah. You know, and uh, keep helping. By the way, uh, you know my my man Craig Melvin uh, from uh, NBC, oh, you know, who yeah. was uh, sitting there with his Russian hat out there in mm-hmm. Central Park today uh, as Hoda Kotb enjoyed the anchor chair. Sure, he looked happy. He looked happy as a pig and poo. Yeah. Uh, we'll take a break, and uh, we'll come back with news you may not need on the Mike O'Mara show. Ladies, are you looking for hot singles in your area? Looking to connect with some of the most eligible bachelors and be swept off your feet and led into the sunset? Looking to find that kind of romance that can only be found in that movie Titanic? Yeah? Well, me too. But in the meantime, you can find plenty of stupid cat videos to fill the void in the TMOS Ladies Who Lunch Facebook group. Join today to get your weekly dose of stupid pictures and connect with plenty of hot singles in your area. If you count Ponyboy. Here's to the ladies. Oh, uh, welcome back to uh, the Mike O'Mara Show, everybody. Brought to you by ZipRecruiter. Does your business have any New Year's resolutions? Here's an important one that every business should consider. Make your hiring process more efficient and effective. Uh, this year, let ZipRecruiter help. No one has done a better job of transforming how you find the right talent than they have. ZipRecruiter posts your jobs to over 100 of the web's leading job boards with just a click. Then ZipRecruiter actively looks for the most qualified candidates and then invites them to apply. That's why ZipRecruiter is different. It doesn't depend on the right candidates finding you. It goes out and finds them, and it does so quickly and efficiently. Uh, No wonder 80% of employers who post on ZipRecruiter get a quality candidate through the site in just a day. One day. Mm. A day by searching the world. ZipRecruiter, the smartest way to hire. Find out today why ZipRecruiter has been used by businesses of all sizes and industries to find the most qualified candidates with immediate results. And right now, our listeners can post jobs on ZipRecruiter for free. That's right, free. Just go to ZipRecruiter.com slash TMOS. That's ZipRecruiter.com slash TMOS. One more time. Try it for free. Go to ZipRecruiter.com slash TMOS. It's the smartest way to hire people. That's what you should have been doing forever. News. The world. The world. Boo. Boo. Uh, the New England Patriots have the best odds to reach the Super Bowl in the AFC. Uh, they're at five to seven, or that's a, a 58% chance. I cannot tell you, with our, uh, you know, our imminent trip to Jimmy's for the Super Bowl. Right. I am so excited for the Buffalo Bills. It's going to break my heart. I know it is. They're not they going to make do. it, Mike. I know they're not going to make it, but yeah. hey, a man can hope, right? A, a man, man can, can hope. only dream. Yes, exactly. Pittsburgh uh, Steelers uh, next in line in the <laughs> AFC, 29% Stop it. chance. Followed by uh, the Jacksonville Jaguars with 11%. Kansas City, uh, 11%. The Tennessee Titans, 2%. And, of course, the Buffalo Bills, 2%. No one upset. Hasn't Tennessee had enough going right for them? Who's playing in the first round? I don't even know. I mean, is it going to be New England and Pittsburgh? uh, We will have Diamond on tomorrow to break it down. All right, we'll break it down. The Minnesota Vikings have the best odds to make it to the Super Bowl in the NFC. They're 7-4, 36%. Saints next, uh, 20%. Rams with 20%. Eagles, 17%. Falcons, 11 And the Carolina Panthers, 10%. Much more of a balanced uh, sure. deal in the NFC. Uh, the Patriots also have the best odds to win the Super Bowl. They have a 31% uh, chance, 9-4. to four. If they do, it would be their third in four years, and it would be very, very boring. Yes. I'm sorry, but mm-hmm. that's just the truth. Uh, and that would be 
be the sixth win for Tom Brady and Bill Belichick. A real nice guy. I don't want that to happen. Yes, Oscar. Saturday and Sunday games, wild card games. You've got Tennessee, te- uh, the Titans versus the Chiefs. You've got okay. the Falcons versus the Rams all on Saturday. On Sunday, you've got the Bills and Jaguars. Bills and, and Jaguars. And you've okay. got the Panthers and Saints. All right, that's uh, okay. Wild card interesting. round. Let's go Buffalo. <laughs> round. Uh, round. Super Bowl be held <laughs> in Minneapolis. Be okay. uh, so if things go as the odds say they will, the Vikings will become the first team in NFL history to play a Super Bowl at their home stadium. We will be at Jimmy's Old Town Tavern in Herndon, Virginia, Woo! watching the big game. We want you to join us no matter who's playing. Topless. You went to the uh, Minneapolis Super Bowl some years ago before I was traveling with you guys. Don't you say the people are like nice to a fault in that city? Yes. Yes, they're nice to a fault, and we saw Sinbad at the Gold Club, where the uh, lovely oh, nice. ladies were, and Sinbad was handing out $20 bills. Like it was he nothing. was so great in that yes. Turbo Man movie. He, that's how long ago Sinbad was hot. Christmas all the way? Uh, last May, <laughs> jingle a, uh, all the way. Oh, yeah. Jingle, <laughs> jingle all the way. Sorry. Last May, a guy on The Price is Right broke a record by winning 31500 playing Plinko, and uh, the record was just broken again yesterday. Listen, I watched this that is, live. Yeah. This is a good... You know why you're watching and why I've watched it now twice in the last yes. six months? Because the price is right by doing this is making it more interesting, yep. and they're giving away more stuff. I was it's in not studio; dull. it was on television. I said, "Plinko, oh, I'll have a soda and drink and Plinko. watch this." The greatest, game, yes. the greatest yeah. pricing game they've got. Uh, Plinko is the game where they drop big circular pucks down a huge pinball style board, and each puck can win anywhere from zero to ten thousand dollars. The guy last year hit ten thousand three times in five tries and went absolutely nuts. Yesterday, a guy named Ryan Glass won thirty nine thousand two hundred, but only because the prizes were higher. The middle slot was worth thirty five thousand oh dollars in honor of Plinko's thirty fifth birthday. This is. Let me just tell you how I, I process this. Okay. 35th birthday. They pull it out of nowhere, but they make it worth 35000 There, This is a generous game show. It I is. like yes. when they're giving people a chance to win big money. So technically, it's the all-time record, but not legit by the uh, Plinko If he won thirty-five grand on one puck, I hope that one of the prizes that he won to earn the puck was dry cleaning fluid because he probably <laughs> released. <laughs> he looks 35 so grand. Very cool. Uh, Uprocks.com ranked the 25 tours that fans are most excited about about this year. Please don't pick on me if I get a name wrong here. Okay. I think I got them all right. Uh, a lot of them kick off in the next couple of months. Uh, let's go from 10 to 1. 10 is D'Angelo. Yes. Okay. Anybody going to see uh, D'Angelo? No, but he looked she good. She in, was great in the vacation movies. In the early 2000s. He had all those uh, number ads. 9, Travis Scott. Uh, he's number 9. Number 8, Robert Plant is touring again. He's got 11 Ooh. shows next month. Uh, number 7 is SZA. SZA. Sip it on some SZA. Is it SZA? I think it is SZA because I've heard the kids talk about it. Yes. Do you know who, who is SZA? It is a popular a singer. No, no. Who is SZA? Yeah, I don't know. It? Wait, the you're kids? Try, you're trying to cover it. I'm kids trying to out you rallies. before you have it. I told, she, I told, Rob, she is expected to tour this oh, year. Oh, damn. Oh, snap. But hasn't announced anything at yet. You, at least uh, you, you heard the name. I hadn't heard the name. Yeah, Pearl Jam uh, also touring. Tyler, the creator, and Vince Staples. Julia has t- tickets for Tyler, the creator. Why really? such a long name? I don't know. You two, Lord, Eminem, and Taylor Swift uh, round out the top one. Um, so there I'd go. go see Eminem. I'd pay to go see Eminem again. That'd be great. I might just Eminem. go buy some M&Ms. Peanut butter. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, someone came across an old medical report about a 49-year-old woman in the UK who landed in the hospital after a painful lesion formed on her eyeball. Oh. Right? At first, doctors thought it was a herpes sore, but the truth ended up being much more festive. It turned out it was actually a clump of glitter. Huh? <laughs> you know, oh, glitter, no. that stuff you yeah. get on cars and stuff. Yeah. yeah. Uh, that somehow got you stuck like in that, her Norm? cornea. Yeah. <laughs> glitter. The cornea. Inside she was, uh, it got stuck to her cornea after someone gave her a glittery Christmas card, you know? Yeah. Those Christmas cards you get. You like on. Christmas, Norm? Uh, yeah, sure do. Yeah, festive. <laughs> uh, a bunch of websites are talking about it uh, like it just happened, but uh, we looked into it. The original medical report came out in. 2013. So it's an ah. old story. Watch out for glitter on the Christmas cards. They'll, they'll do you have you any? Uh, do you have any acquaintances that will send you cards and they actually add glitter to it? So when you open it, the glitter falls out. Oh, f them. I not a fan. Hate that. Not a fan of the glitter on any level. Uh, don't care for it Especially on cards. On my crotch. Yeah, I don't. Mm-hmm. Don't like it on your crotch from a stripper either. Yeah. Uh, yeah. A 26 year old couple in <laughs> London got married last year, and they recently found out that they didn't actually meet in college like they thought. Oh. 
So they fall in love. This is a wonderful romantic couple, and one of their moms realizes that they randomly met while their families were both on vacation in Turkey when they were six years old on a delightful luxury Turkish vacation. Man, who doesn't like to go to Ankara for a nice weekend? <laughs> I think you know, Europeans do it differently than we do. Uh, even yeah. then, though, War the torn. mother says yes, they, were, uh, they were obsessed with each other. Oh, you know? wow. And then he got busted carrying hashies on the plane, thrown into jail. No, that's a Midnight Express. And right? then she, at, at the never... ceremony, pressed her nipple against the glass. <laughs> and said, Billy, Billy, Billy. <laughs> dilly, dilly. <laughs> dilly, dilly. <laughs> it all gets back to a movie that's like 40 years old. There you go. Uh, and now a little something, something, a, a 36-year-old guy named, named Edwin Greco Wiley Biggs. He was, uh, he was sentenced to two to four years in state prison in LaBelle, Pennsylvania back in 2014 for heroin possession and reckless endangerment. During the strip search last year, the cops found a small balloon filled with marijuana in his rectum. Oh, no. Edwin's excuse? Yes. Those drugs aren't mine. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> They're not mine. What a dummy. Yeah, somebody put them there. Uh, a judge didn't buy it. He got sentenced to an extra three to six years in prison for possession of contraband. Uh, he appealed, sticking with his those drugs weren't mine story. Uh, but earlier this week, the court upheld his new sentence. Uh, no word on the uh, true hero of the story, the guy who removed the balloon. Oh, Thank no. you. Thank you very much. When hey, he gonna... removed the balloon. You think people <laughs> will stop? These machines pick up everything. Yeah. Right? Yeah, it's uh, kind of nasty. You yeah, know? And, uh, not worth it. Hey, sleep. what if you used a Mylar balloon? <laughs> <laughs> Happy birthday! <laughs> we'll take a break and uh, come back with Rob's Little Sounds, the audio vault right here on the Mike O'Mara Show. Every time I think about a kid. Have you ever thought to yourself, I like my workplace, but it just isn't hostile enough? Well, boy, do we have the opportunity for you. The Mike O'Mara Show is looking for interns, and you could be what we're looking for. Afraid you might not pass a drug test? Don't worry. We hired Adrian. Do you think you don't have the personality or drive to be in radio? Well, Mac is still working here. And if you're worried about a criminal record, Dan O'Brien's shirts are so tight, they ought to be illegal. Any and all crayon written resumes can be sent to Rob at MikeO'MaraShow.com. The Mike O'Mara Show Intern Program. It exists because college credits cost us nothing. <laughs> <laughs> Is he two for two? Yeah. He had oh, a strong that's week. Great. Oh, my goodness And, Mike, gracious. we have, like, eight interviews coming yeah. up. Yeah. Oh, my yeah. God. A slew that's in the sky. A yeah. slew of them. Uh, you know, I, I, this is just for future reference, and I'm thinking, and I'll forget to tell you if I don't tell you right now, you ought to put all those in a bank. We ought to do them regularly. And when you go out to, uh, you know, Mason or you go to, oh, that's uh, you know, AU, yeah. you, you ought to just pop a, play you know, play, play that through your phone or yeah. you're maybe a bigger bigger speaker than that. That would be awesome. That's cool. Welcome back to the Mike O'Mara Show. Happy New Year. Time for a new look, a new frame of mind, new challenges. Time for a new you. Have you made your resolution for 2018? How about this? Make a resolution. Look at me. Listen to me. Make a resolution not to suck. May, may, make it. Don't <laughs> suck like the people who don't subscribe to the bonus show. They suck worst of all. Yeah. <laughs> Blood-sucking, slimy parasites that leave us feeling, at the very least, comedically drained. Yes, they take. They're takers, 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 takers. Resolve to sign up for the TMOS bonus show right now. Now! Great time. Remember, the future of our show depends on it. Besides, you don't know what you're missing. It's the most fun we have each week, and it will leave you feeling warm inside, even in the depths of winter. Classic bonus show this week, Great one. where it's the schizophrenic bonus show. It's the bipolar bonus show, where we're heavy, 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 heavy. I mean, really heavy. But not talking politically, about, a, about no, sex in America. No, not politically, not politically. It's about sex. We're talking seriously Shit. about sex Shit. and sexual harassment, and then we, like, completely degenerate into sex robots. <laughs> yeah. Uh, you know, it's what we do. Uh, it'll leave you feeling warm inside. Uh, go to MikeOmeraShow.com, click on the bonus banner, you'll get access to all our bonus content, and you'll be helping TMOS, so 
please quit sucking, and we thank you. Without further ado, let's open up the audio vault for today. This is Thursday, Jan 4, 2018. You say Dan O'Brien was having a great week with his promos, but you also featured listener Ben McDaniel this week. You helped on that, too. I'm going to give you credit because you won't do it for yourself. You uh, you helped with that one, too, did you not? Or did he yeah. write it all himself? Yeah, well, we, we put our heads together. He, That's great. He, he'll okay. come in with just, ideas, and we'll work them in. Was a, I want to give you a writing credit. That's a beautiful yeah. promo, and you deserve yeah. credit. You give so, everybody else credit. That's good. You're doing the work. It. So, like but, but Ben McDaniel doesn't get any help from... Oh, Mike. Hold on. Phone's ringing. Uh, uh, Mike O'Mara show. Who's this, please? Good morning. This is Wade Byard, the public information officer for Latin County Public Schools. Uh-huh. Latin County Public Schools is closed. Today. Are closed, There's Wade. <laughs> you have- are closed. <laughs> they are closed. I hung up on him because it's are closed, not <laughs> is closed. All right. Ben McDaniel <laughs> did a custom jingle for Oscar that I think Oscar will love Ooh. as much as uh, anything he's man. ever sent in because it's so beautiful in its simplicity. Oscar. Oh, woo. <laughs> hey tails. Ben, Ben, I'm sorry. I'm greedy. I'm greedy. Uh, can you do one for Carla O'Mara? Oh, can you yeah. do one for Carla O'Mara? Mm-hmm. You That's know, sweet. I would love. I just, I'm thinking of her, and I'd love that to happen. Oh. I, Ben McDaniel is. I'm, I'm, I'm the turbo fan of that. Can guy. you make I'm one the new for Carla turbo. packing her bags? <laughs> How about stop it? Behavior. How about a jingle that says Carla grades this one at ten? <laughs> <laughs> But one more time, this is Oscar's DuckTales jingle. This is great. Listen to Oscar's new jingle. Oscar. I love it. <laughs> you have to bring that into Bode. Yeah. You My should bring Uncle that Scrooge into Bode. My Duck. <laughs> one more time on him. that jingle. That is awesome. Oscar. <laughs> oh, I love it. It is a thing of beauty. Well done, Dad. Thing of beauty. Thank Thank more so McDaniel jingles for 2018. I what will that. not be a thing of beauty is, I believe, tomorrow night on Showtime when Rob Gronkowski hosts his first comedy special. Oh, this looks so dumb. It's called Unsportsmanlike Comedy. I want to uh, hate this. I can't uh, hate it. I can't. You uh, know why uh, I can't try, hate it? Try. Because Gronk is a machine of his own. I'm walking through the airport and. At Brookstone, right? Every man's happy place. We Great walk store, in yeah. and look at gadgets you probably should never buy, but you buy them. Uh, there's a football that's also a Bluetooth speaker that Gronk, it's called the Gronk's like stereo ball. And then you throw the <laughs> you throw the ball and there's music coming out of it. I heard the ball coming and it was playing a song and you know it was Rob Greg. Kelsey How are you? Music. How in the name oh, of Jesus God. Christ, our Savior, are you the most educated person on this show? I, I'm How a, is that humanly I, I thought it was marketing genius. Okay. Hey, you know right. what? He could sign a deal with Iguanaria and sell Gronkamole. <laughs> <laughs> Big chunks of yeah, avocados. Exactly. All right, yeah. but here's the preview. Hey, how about that crappy, trashy little website we all hate? The Fairfax Undergronk. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, nice. I tell you what, stay away from the undergronk. That's for sure. Yeah. Watch out, everybody. Especially after a game. Here's a preview of some of the jokes that Gronk and his friends tell on unsportsmanlike comedy. Number 87, Rob Gronkowski. You like the suit? Good, because it's the first time I've worn a shirt in three months. My seven-year-old for Halloween went as Rob Gronkowski. Got to the third house, hurt himself, was done for the year. He said, then Gronk, you're a big NFL star now. You can't drink a drive. He said, I'll give up drive. I kind of have a slight man crush on Tom Brady. And I'm not gay. I wouldn't kiss him on the lips. Unsportsmanlike comedy with Rob Gronkowski premieres Friday, January 5th at 10 on Showtime. How are they going to fit all that comedy into a half an I hour? I take really? everything back <laughs> I just said. <laughs> That sounds horrible. I'm sorry. Once you pair the football to your phone, the yeah. music will come <laughs> out of the football. Here, here look, look, look. When you throw look. it, it I, still plays. I hear I, a song listen, coming and I catch it. I am, a New, I am a New England sports fan. I am a Red Sox fan, but I go south for my football. But let me tell you, the, the, there is a small part of the United States that are Patriot fans, all right? The rest of the country, this is why the rest of the country cannot stand the New England Patriots. I will root for anyone playing the Patriots, and I'll probably be horrifically disappointed. But this is why the rest of the world hates the Patriots, mm-hmm. because of this crap. Right. That's why. Just play football. And then meanwhile, you have your satanic, demon-worshipping coach. And then you have your fat, doughy, pss- blue shirt white collar owner and it's just a pain I in the ass I wish that I could have music coming out of a football <laughs> where is my 14 year old wife 
<laughs> Why is Harry's taking From my Mike market girlfriend. share? <laughs> <laughs> all right, Mike, what do the following names all share? And I will okay. read the names now. Rick Ross, DJ Khaled, Birdman, Jada Kiss. What do they share? They're all rappers? Yes, but they made Billboard's <laughs> list of the top hip-hop ad-libs of all time. Oh, nice. These are things that were not originally in the lyric of the song, and I don't recognize many of the artists. I don't recognize any of the songs, but I do like hearing all the ad-libs in a montage. This is what Top 40 Music is all about. <laughs> what happened to that boy? DJ Khaled! We the best music. There's a lot of people say they're the best and they're not the best. See, I say we the best. <laughs> so when you look at something like that on YouTube mm-hmm. and they have the stuff on the right column that sort of mm-hmm. relates to it, yes. this is even better. This is just a montage of weird things that Kanye West has done in his music. Weird okay. Kanye noises. Uh. 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 Is your magic audio ball? Oh, <laughs> Thursday, everybody. Yeah. Kind of hurt my brain there. Uh, that's at. He's that's a genius. Oh, people, thanks Jesus. for uh, joining us Wait. for another episode Jesus. of TMOS. Uh, don't forget to update our brand new app, everybody, and uh, unlock the live twenty four seven TMOS stream. All messages for our weekly mailbag can be sent to Rob with two B's at MikeOmeraShow.com. Remember, we do that on Tuesdays, right, right. Rob Spiewak? That's exactly uh, our right. Mail- our mailing address is TMOS Box 32101, Washington, D.C., 2007. Thanks for listening, and join us again for the best part of your day, the Mike O'Mara Show. So long, everybody. Bye-bye. Ciao-ciao. Before you go, please make a mental note. Today's show was made possible by the TMOS bonus packages. You can secure yours right now by going to MikeOmeraShow.com and clicking on the red bonus banner. Buy it or give it. Either way, you're helping out TMOS, and that's a good thing. Thank you, and go in peace. Oscar. Mike O'Mara, Radio Entertainment. (laughs) 